Good evening, everyone. Once again, welcome. It is Thursday night, a night of rock and roll with this crazy lockdown stuff. I'm Ron Onesti from the Arcata Theater in St. Charles, Illinois, right outside of Chicago. We call it Rock and Roll Heaven. And each week we get together with two of rock and roll's most amazing drummers. I'm telling you, iconic. And we're going to bring them to the microphone. And then we, we welcome other guys that are also part of rock and roll history, the legacy. They keep on rocking. And tonight we've got, you're getting the bonus package tonight because not only we're going to talk to these three guys about rock and roll and some of the historic uh, things they've been doing and so what they're doing now, but also these guys take their creativity and they just catapult it to another level. And we're going to talk about their artwork. These are rock and roll artists. And we're going to bring my brothers to this, to the microphone, to the stage. I was going to say it's the stage, uh, the rock and roll stage here on artists on lockdown, hanging and banging with my brother, Vinny Apice from Dio. There he is black Sabbath and last in line. I love the hat. Thank you. I bought this in England at some shitty little thrift shop and I love this hat. So, you know what? It, I don't love this hat as much as that shirt. Well, but, let me tell you something. This is a very important shirt. This this is something that. that this is very very special. We'll talk about it in a minute. And it's, you know what? It, it's nice to hear that you love the shirt. Normally, I, I do. No, I make fun of it. But it is a little too high up. But you know, I gotta do it there. because you understand. If if I do it, you know, if it if I order it lower, <laughs> then you gotta sit higher. I'd sit, uh, and you know me, I can't sit high. I'm a little guy. What do you want from me? <laughs> hey, let's bring our big brother to the stage. And this guy, I mean, come on. Come on. Now. There he is. There he is. Hey! Wearing... He had a birthday, and he's wearing white now. Look I at know. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's not, not, it's pink. It's pink. Carmine Apice. Whoa, Apice, you're right. Oh, now I'm messing with you. Apice, 75 years young. No, four, 74. 74, good. Next, said, year, four. next year, we're having a big party down here on the front lawn. We're going to have a tent. Well, you know what? It's really something. All these uh, interviews we've been doing, I can't get over how many of your like contemporaries are all hanging down in Florida. So we should do that in the winter, maybe next January. Yeah, man. Yeah, let's Any do it. Time. We'll do live from from the from the what do we call it? Play the uh, Casa Ponte. Casa Ponte. Very good. Very good. What does that mean? What does Casa Ponte mean? Well, Ponte means bridge, actually. Thank you. And Casa, so, the bridge house. house. And why is it a, why is it a bridge house? Because when you come in the front gate, there's a there's a wall, there's a door, and you walk in the door, and you have to walk over a bridge over the pool to get to the front door of the house. You know, one of our Great. shows. Since we're going off like tonight, very very cool show. We're talking about artists, rock and roll artists who are musicians who are artists as well. And um, one of our shows, we talked about uh, taking a tour of all the gold records and some of these guys' houses, especially yours. Um, let's take a tour of your house. One of these shows, you too. Yeah, Vinny. let's do Vinny's house. Too. Vinny's got a cool house. We want to see your house. Yeah, that'd be fun. We'll see that'd that'd be house. fun. Okay, definitely. Let's. But do it'll that. take it'll take longer to see my house. <laughs> You know, Vinny, if you didn't catch that, that was a shot. I just want you to know. <laughs> he knows. He knows. <laughs> I don't know if you caught that or not. That was. By, a good by the way, I got. I got to thank Vinny for all the nice things he said about me on Facebook. Yeah, see that. On my birthday. See, what a, he's a good brother. He's a good I, little I, brother. He's like a brother to me. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way you you say it, though, Carm. He's a good little brother. Yeah, a good little brother. You know, he's you guys. You guys are like that New York, still that that Brooklyn Italian. You still got it after seventy four years. You have hey, a Vinny, hey, Vinny, do you remember down the street on Forty First? There was a guy named Bobby Sinkowitz. I don't remember that guy. That was your friend. Yeah, he called yeah. me yesterday. What's he doing? Ah, he's out in uh, Long Island. He's his brother Stanley was a member of the mafia. Guy, he mur murdered somebody. Got sent up to San Quentin. Oh shit! Well, that's their pretty. It's pretty yeah. popular. He's from the yeah. Sinkowitz well. crime family. That's very yeah. popular out there. Yeah, yeah. in Brooklyn. Yeah. In Brooklyn. Well, hey, maybe, man, we got a we got a big show. We do. Maybe, we got a big show tonight. maybe he's out now. They keep letting all the prisoners out. Yeah, COVID. yeah, maybe so. You might be right. Not the Italian. Okay, let's, let's bring on our friends here. This is a good show. It's a great show. You know, we're talking about Italians. I'm gonna bring the first one I'm gonna bring is is a guy that. Okay, so. I'm not going to say his name the way he normally does it because he's a cousin of ours. Let's bring now this guy. You know this guy from Leonard Skinner. 
If you know this guy from, you know, he was a, a founding member, the founding drummer, Damn Yankee. He's got so many stories, but yeah. he's an incredible artist. It's His name is Michele Cartellone. Holy moly. Hey, Cartellone. Hey. It sounds like a mafia. <laughs> Salve. Hey. Salve. Fratello mio. Look at that. He's How you doing, Mikey? Good, good. Hi, guys. Thanks for having me on. Oh, yeah, great, man. Being. No problem. Love your okay. Mount Etna or your Etna jacket. Yeah. Look at That's that. That's my Sicilian heritage. Wearing Gotta a pride. I remember when I used to see Mike at Lava League, a club in on uh, Studio City, Ventura. Oh, right? in California. That's yeah. Right. We used to go see. We used to go see Malcolm Mendoza all the time. And yeah, yeah. I lived out right. lived in L.A. during Damn Yankees. Yeah. But, but you know, Damn Yankees actually began here in New York City. Ah. That's where we first, the four of us, first got together. Was here. Oh. And well, then we, I, I we had Ted. We had Ted on here a couple of times. Yeah. Oh yeah, a couple of times. That was fun. That was fun. And we, 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 we had him on once, and then you invited him back. Yeah, and we and we, <laughs> and we didn't have to talk much. I, well, I wouldn't imagine you would. <laughs> and we lived to talk about it, which is yeah, right. and we lived to talk about. It. Hey, you're and, in your, uh, yeah, in New York City. You're in yeah, New York. Yeah, I, I've been here most of my life. What's that like now with all this crap going on? No, he's not in the city. Snowy. He's up, upstate. He's upstate. Oh, you're it's upstate. No, no, I'm in the Bronx. I'm not upstate. Oh, okay. you're in the Bronx. Oh, you're in the Bronx. You're in the Bronx. Oh. Yeah. You know, it's funny. I, I call my radio stations on Thursday. I called everybody today. A lot of them are in the Northeast. They're all going, oh, man, I just came in from shoveling snow. I said, wow. I just came in from bringing my garbage in. I had my sweatpants on and a t shirt. <laughs> now I'm in yeah. Florida. Yeah, yeah, we, we got I was hammered. Bust, I was busting balls. <laughs> we got hammered. You know, um, Carmine, of course, we used to live in the same Upper West Side neighborhood a few years back. That's right. Yeah. Oh, really? Right. Yeah. We did. So we moved to the Bronx. Where in the Bronx are you? How far north? Oh, if I say that, there are going to be people standing outside. Now, well, how, how far north? I mean, how far north, though? I'm in Riverdale, just right across We're, the water. Oh, right across the river, yeah. yeah. Can, can I meet that's, you? That's a nice area of the Bronx. That's the upper level. So yeah. I say. How about if I meet you for uh, for a hero at Mike's Deli uh, tomorrow? <laughs> Sounds good. I, I love, yeah, but know, guess what? what? You got to eat it outside. Yeah, I on know. the side of the snow. Let me tell you something. You know, I go around the country like you guys travel, and my hobby, one of my hobbies is hitting all the little Italy's. I love it. And I got to tell you, one of my top three is the one, you know, you could say all you want about Mulberry Street. The real little Italy is Bronx right there. By Arthur, Arthur Avenue. Arthur Avenue, 187. Yeah, no, that's the real, that's that's the real deal. The one downtown wow. is tourism. Oh, I've never been there. I know. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, the, one, the one up here on Arthur Avenue is the real deal. Yep, you go see David over at Mike's Deli. You go see. It's great. Uh, uh, I mean, by uh, uh, you got the Gino's Bakery there. Uh, I mean, it's just an mm. incredible place. I love it. My so God, yeah. you, really, you really been there? Holy well, God. you don't understand. I I put on. I'm one of the guys who puts on the Hoboken Italian Festival in Hoboken, New Jersey, every year. Yeah. So you know me, Chicago. Yep. And so you on that on? weekend, I do. And every weekend on that Sunday, there's a thing called Ferragosto, which is an Italian celebration in the summer. And it's it's right there in the, in the Bronx on that Sunday, and they got pigs on the spit, and they're making the. Uh, you never, the never. How come I never got invited? I don't know. You're out there, really. I didn't because I would have. I don't remember know. that. I'm up west where he used to, where Mikey used to live. But I'm telling you, it's if you want the real deal, legit thing, oil making oil on the street, all that stuff, the cheeses, you got to go to Bronx, Little Italy. I'm telling you. Yeah, I gotta check um, it out. I've absolutely. Never been there. Hey, you know, we, we, the, our next guest, I don't think he's Italian, but he's still one of our brothers. An yeah. amazing artist. I know you guys know Ed Heck. Let's bring him out because his stuff, this is one of his hey co We're going to talk about this, Carm, uh, all this stuff. Welcome to the show, Ed. How you doing, buddy? Great, great. Hey. Um, and I am hey, part Italian. <laughs> all right. All right. What part? What part? <laughs> My mother's part. Oh, good. <laughs> well, that's why we let you in. I just want you to know. <laughs> Well, I don't know. The next guy's not Italian either, but uh, well, he's you don't cool. know. Maybe you know what I think. Yeah, maybe he is. Yeah. You know what? Let's. We didn't know Ed was. Well, let's just bring him on because I'm excited to bring him. This guy, Rob, has been. Uh, I mean, a legendary. Who, who, who's 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 got the siren? Who's got the, the, for you, the guy Warren. in the Bronx. What do you think? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. I'm sorry. <laughs> the Bronx playing their national anthem. I'm sorry. Oh, my God. We're looking for Ron. Let's bring Rob Reiner up, man. From Anvil. I'll tell you what. Hey, one of my hey, nice to meet everybody. I met some earlier. 
Hi, Rob. How you doing, bro? Good, man. Nice and stoned. All right. <laughs> Why should today be any different than, than any other day? Right? I'm, I'm painting a wonderful project. <laughs> And, yeah. it, and, actually, and actually, I got to get to band rehearsal, so I got to leave at eight o'clock. Well, we'll get, going. Going. Let's get going. we'll get you out. We'll get Pleasure. you out. Thanks, thanks for having me in. Um, thanks for bringing me in. Well, you all, you guys live, all you guys live in the same town? Yeah, we live in Toronto, Canada. Yeah, well, that's, that's a rarity, huh, these days? What, up here, living in Canada? No, <laughs> living in the same town. <laughs> um. Uh, not first Canadian guys. I don't know. We lips to me. We know we're brothers, so we kind of always. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, Vinny are brothers, and he was in California. I, was I, in know, Florida. I know. But, you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I know. I know. It's a weird. Uh, it's a weird. Yeah. Thing. It says, we just we traveled the whole world, and we decided a long time ago. You know, Canada is like the best place to be. You know that, and that's just being straight. Up. I don't know. Sweet. Well, maybe these days. Well, what, yeah, yeah, we're going we're, on in our country. Yeah, it's not being biased against anything. You know, we've been everywhere. You know, you know, you go maybe Australia feels like kind of Canada, America mix. You know, I don't know. Well, yeah, I was just guys, here. We just stayed here. You know, we got a good social system. Uh, I don't know. I mean, it is falling like the shit too, but it's still companies out there. Still a good place. Let me ask you guys a question. Obviously, you know, there's the, the music community. We're all, you know, we all trip over each other uh, with all the different uh, places and the tours and that kind of thing. But this, the, the, the art, the rock art, com is that a community of artists? Do you guys uh, see each other at different uh, showcases or galleries? I mean, is that an actual community? I'd like to see it happen. Yeah. I, I mean, there, I there are a it. bunch of us. I'd like, that would that. be a great thing. Yeah, I, I would love it. Absolutely. We can put that together. There's a lot well, of uh, Ed and I have known each other for, for quite a few years. Yeah. Um, and yeah. I knew when Ed and Carmine started their art project. Tell us about that. Absolutely. Well, actually, uh, I was given orders by Leslie <laughs> to, let, to let, let you guys know how I met Ed. And uh, uh -huh. it was actually, yeah. we, went, we went to a... Uh, an art show that Ed was doing a show at, right? Right, Ed? Is that my correct? New York. Yeah, and then down the down the the, uh, the hallway from Ed was Paul Stanley, you know? Mm -hmm. So Ed said something like to me, do you know how to, can you paint anything? Can you do any artwork? I said, <laughs> I could draw drums. <laughs> so so yeah. could Vinny, we showed that earlier. Yeah, show, show us your uh, yeah. painting, Vinny. Isn't it amazing? <laughs> yeah, that's one of my best ones, too. Better watch That's out one of his mind. best ones. Yeah, I know. I'm going yeah, so to up east to uh, uh, Apathy. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, really, that, look at that yeah. I don't I don't even have to change the spelling of the logo. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, so it's anyway, so then uh, so I, I said to Ed, I can draw drums, and then and then uh, you, you tell him the rest, Ed. Yeah, when I asked you, I said, well, you said I, you know, I design drums, Seth, and I do sketches of it. And I said, well, have do you work with a computer? It's like only for emails. I was like, well, you can scan in your sketches and play with them, you know, and play with color and stuff without ruining your sketches. And he said, well, hey, you want to collaborate? And I was like, sure. But I didn't think anything would come from it. And then like about a week and a half later, I think Carmine calls me up on the phone and says, what are you doing Friday? I'm coming to your studio. That sounds like Carmine. And he, and he came yeah. to my studio and yeah. I went downstairs to let him in and he's getting out of his car with his stuff. And he hands me a phone and he says, here, you're on the air in Minneapolis. <laughs> yeah. and, he gives me, and the guy's like, hey, I hear you're doing art with Carmine. <laughs> yes, I am. That sounds hey, like Carmine. <laughs> usually you would hear from him the next day in the morning. Really? <laughs> well, I, didn't, I mean, I didn't know, you know, people say stuff sometimes, and I didn't think we really know a guy who I've been a fan of. Well, actually, my teenage self would be geeking out right now because I've had every one of these guys when I was in high school on my wall, pictures of them. <laughs> you know, Leonard Skinner, Ozzy Osbourne, Dio, Anvil. Yep. So, you know, it's, it's, it's amazing. Hey, you know what's funny? All these guys. Deal, the, man. the wall, I found out a, a story from a guy that came back from Iraq, Iraq when they mm -hmm. uh, took down Saddam Hussein's uh, palace. And he said... You know, you're on the wall on Saddam Hussein's palace <laughs> with picture of Black Sabbath. Oh, and they wow. took it all. Oh, they, took over, they took over the palace. They put all rock stuff all over the the, the truth. You know? <laughs> That's cool. Because man, you're you're in Saddam's palace. I'm like, get out. That's <laughs> yeah. So I would first of all say Saddam because you don't want to be in Saddam on anything. 
with the word <laughs> That's what you don't want to do. <laughs> Sodom's palace got, would be a whole dirty, thing. <laughs> you got a dirty mind. Ms. Listen, Donna. last time I, I visited Sod Sodom's palace was in New York City. I don't want to talk about that. <laughs> Hey, uh, <laughs> um, you know what? Let's let's go to some. I want to go to Rob's uh, some of your uh, your artwork, Rob. Um, if uh, Ben, if you can put, pull, pull it up because I really find it interesting your style. And we were talking a little bit about this because you got this book, and we want to talk. Well, you know what? For a second, let's talk about the book since you got the book up there. Um, what made you finally want to do that? I know with your artwork, you're a little bit you know secretive about it or personal with it. What made you come up with a book? Um, it's a long-term project that I finally executed, simply. I'm getting older, and it, the, the paintings document my uh, my life. Oh, really? Yeah, that's it's actually, somewhat biographical? Yeah, exactly. The pictures tell my story, and it, it, it's just something that organically happened. I never thought, I, I, I dawned upon it in the recent years. <laughs> you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? We started analyzing all these pictures, and we started going, you know what, these are all the places, you know, I've been and I've done things. I've smoked dope in every one of those pictures. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Every single one. And um, <laughs> there's nobody in the picture except me, but you don't see me, but I'm there. Deep, brother, deep. All right. So um, so I, I figured, uh, you know, yeah, like that. people people want, okay, I don't sell my paintings, as I told you that. Um, People always ask, you know, hey man, I want to buy a painting. I get emails all the time. I don't, I don't sell them, and that's just oh. what happens. I didn't but know you that. do have prints available, you know, don't you? Who, why not? Do you, have prints, do you have prints yeah, available? Yeah, I, have, yeah, I, have prints. I, yeah. I own one. Yeah, I have prints. Okay. Stone Edge. That's, that's Stone an Edge. actual official lockdown painting. That's is, that, is that his? Yeah, that's one of Rob's. Where, where's our Stone Edge? Yeah. Oh, actually, yeah. where I have it? it in the next room. We, we have Stone Edge, too. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, I, I was I was referring to your style, and you know, you, you if you look at let's go to another one, Ben, if you don't mind, even this one, you you look at um, really how you what really impresses me how you uh, uh, treat light and sunlight especially in uh, in uh, many of your uh, um, yeah, yeah. Your, your, your paintings. I mean, look at that. You, the light is such a big part of it. Mm -hmm. yeah, and yeah, uh, yeah. is that on purpose? Is that what a part of your yeah. focus? That's how I see things. That's how I see things. I mean, yeah, I don't know what more to see. I love seeing sunlight on things. Yeah, you know, I mean, you're shadowing. I mentioned before. Yeah, the shadows are good. Shadows are good. On. Let's go to another one, Ben. You can see this again. The shadowing is so much. So, uh, I think Michael. I think you said. It, uh, I believe you said it, or Ed. I'm sorry about how the the uh, you always know what time of day it is. On, yeah, I said. The um, most part. Rob's work reminded me of um, the painter Edward Hopper. And oh yeah right in that that you can always tell the time of day by the lighting he nails the lighting which is a very hard thing to do yep. i mean you can tell what time of day it was just by the lighting on the side of a wall or something and a yeah. shadow how it falls those things are in germany at uh, that place i was smoking uh we were smoking in this fucking church <laughs> right. and, and i was looking i was looking at that whatever you see there is what i was looking at and i'm going that will look so fucking good in a painting uh, i get I, so I take a picture of it and Made a drawing later and painted it. You know, um, uh, I want to take a, a step um, into the anvil world for a second. Um, when look at that. Just that's a lock, that's right. a lockdown painting. That's recent. I just did that a little while ago. Now, what what? Why did that come during the lockdown? And I know you're going to blame it on on smoking, of course. But <laughs> why did that image come to you? I mean, if you're locked down, you're not seeing. Well, trade. because because. Back when that happened, that was in America. <laughs> we were in um, fucking Arizona. I don't remember where we were, and we were looking for something to eat. So we we're just walking through a field, and I saw that again. I saw that, and I said, "That would look fucking cool in painting." That's all that happens, you know. We're just sitting there like smoking away, and I look at things. I see everything like like a picture, like a painting. Mm. Even when we play gigs, you know, I'm looking out at the crowd, and I and I, and I look at everything like an illustration. It's really weird. Mm -hmm. That's well, where you many... found something to eat. Yep. This is... <laughs> what, what's that? yeah, that's the diner he found something to eat in. After yeah. the munchies. You, know, you, you guys might have been there. That's in, uh, that's in St. Paul, Minneapolis, in a, right downtown. You guys, it's, it's a famous diner. 
Ah. Like, there's all these modern buildings, and then you see that thing. Yeah. Very cool. I love nice. it. I, I really, really love it. Hey, when you uh, um, obviously, and in, in when the uh, documentary uh, came out, the story of Anvil was a really, really big thing. It really reinvigorated the career of of Anvil, uh, the energy behind Anvil, and uh, and you've been rocking and rolling ever since. Of course, you can never really stop. But um, um, but I'm really interested to hear about the premiere because I know it was a it was a rock and roll premiere that you guys actually played at. I, I guess Slash was there. And you played a Nugent song. Was that what happened? That was at Sundance. At the Sundance, Sundance Film Festival. That's where that happened. That was before the movie. That's where the movie got bought and sold. And that's where all that business shit happened, right? I was right. Like, I, I didn't, you know, me, I was like, I went into the whole thing as a rocker. Like, you know, the whole thing was about, okay, you're making a story about our band. Cool. But it was about what, I didn't think anybody would give a fuck about any of it, right? The next thing we see, you know, these 800 seat theaters, you know, at the end of the movie, they're getting standing ovations from like yep. endlessly. <laughs> and I started after three, four days of this, I started going, man, something's fucking going on, man. Like, you know, there's, there's something more to this than just fucking like we're a band, right? And uh, sure enough, there was a lot way more to this. I didn't realize what the hell those guys made. Yeah, it's incredible. I mean, it's really, it's it, 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 started your career. Started the career. Yeah, I have a day, yeah, I have a day job. I lips on myself. We have a full time day job in Anvil. That's kind of like how I look at it, right? Well, and, right. Uh, and it's awesome. You know, we make a great living playing 150 shows a year, making uh, records every 18 months. Um, it's and we have like a little cottage industry that which is Anvil. It's fun. <laughs> You know, and it's really cool that you're still, I mean, like you said, making, that's one of the most intriguing things about the whole Anvil thing is the fact that you keep making new music. I mean, it's really incredible. Yeah, yeah we got a new, I can't say the new title, I'd love to, but I can't, but it's, that's, we, it, that's we did in the last eight months, we were supposed to be touring, like everybody else, right? Right. So we wrote it, we wrote our next album, so now we're just waiting to uh, go do it in August. <laughs> that's it. No. <laughs> well. I'm a metal on metal fanatic. Absolutely freaking love it. So thank you for that, and I'm really. Yeah, well, now, we're, that's like right, I'm, your kids. Like you know, my like I love you know cactus. I love cactus, right? Yay! Yeah, I'm a I'm a real diehard cactus fan, right? Yeah. And um, we were kids when we made that stuff, like metal on metal. You know, I was I was like 23 years old, I think. I know Vinny, when he was in uh, Derringer, you know, he was a young uh, guy then too, right? Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> 19. Yeah. 18. Yeah. 18. And, uh, you know, and uh, you, you play great drums on on those records. In my oh, thank you. Thank yeah. you very much. Well, you know you've made it when, you, when you're... Well, you know you've made it when you when your anthems is on The Simpsons. So congratulations on that. <laughs> yeah, well, well, that's well, that movie went like a chain. I don't know, whatever. It was just like a, it's like a Twilight Zone. In my life, so we're still the same guys. You know, we didn't, we never moved anywhere. Like we were thinking about moving to L.A. for a year, and then we said, you know what? We woke up and said, oh, we're fucking retarded. If we moved here, we're, <laughs> we're fucking nuts, right? And so we, we're just the same guys. I'm still married to the same woman. That's awesome. Well, you know, uh, the, the story is uh, the show. I'm sorry, the documentary is still really, really big. It's on Netflix. It's really popular. Um, it, it's a great. It's still. It's still relevant. It still makes sense, and it's still awesome. Yeah, you know what? Because it's a slice of life uh, movie, really. When you really look at it, it, uh, it really it, is. It, it could have been about two plumbers, or you know, what I mean, like it's, it's about a man. <laughs> but it really, it, I've it, looking back on it now. That's how I view it. It's actually like a slice of life thing. The two, plum, the two plumbers is about this year, 2020. <laughs> yeah, right. Nobody's playing. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> well, not like we'd like to, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. Hey, Michael, um, you know what? Again, between Damn Yankees, Leonard Skinner, just incredible body of work that you, you've had. And congratulations on that. Absolutely. Love, uh, but you know, I've been, I've been really learning a, a lot about your artwork. I didn't realize, again, this whole rock and roll community, you know, if you're not uh, um, Tony yeah. Bennett, you know, uh, nobody knows about you freaking rock and rollers who are doing this stuff. And uh, well, ben, Tico Torres is a painter. That's crazy. I don't know if you guys know that. Pico from the Bon Jovi. Yeah. Bon yeah. Jovi, absolutely. Yeah, he's a painter. He's a painter. Yeah, and so is uh, Brian from Tesla. 
He's going to be on our show on the seventh. You know, yeah, and, and, he, and he, told me he does painting as well. Yeah, Paul Stanley. I guess you guys know he's. Yeah, guy. Paul, we know. Yeah, that's the big one. Yeah. So there's yeah. some of these guys are really. I've saw. I've seen he's several ready. of them actually in Las Vegas. Uh, that they have. I think Joe Perry's done some stuff. Um, really big, really big shows out there. But, but nobody's done stuff like Vinny's stuff. No, Vinny's amazing. Um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna. <laughs> I really think. No, you know what? <laughs> you just draw that like now. Isn't it amazing? He just threw it out. And you talk about being stoned? That's right that. before the show, I didn't even smoke anything. <laughs> That's beautiful. It's bold. It's honest. I like it. I'm trying to get to a t-shirt design, so we'll, we'll work on that deal. Anyway, let me get back to Michael Michael yeah. for a second here because, um, you know, Ben, can you bring up a, a couple of uh, of Michael's work? Because I really – I love that drum, for example, how you capture – like just the, just the, the – the, the uh, Im the impressions of, of those faces. Um, this one here, look at that. I mean, yeah. that is, what so was that what, form? That's well, cool. what this is, um, I'm celebrating my 30th anniversary as an endorser at Pearl Drums. And to commemorate that, I painted a snare drum shell with my favorite drummers. So you can see Bruford and Ringo there. Yeah. And um, I think I sent another shot there we go. So there's oh, yeah. Neil Peart, Terry Bozio. Yeah. So um, this drum uh, has just been all put together. It's at Pearl right now. And there's discussions maybe to do a very limited run of reproductions of this drum for charity. Absolutely. But that was, um, that, right, that's, a, uh, that's a lockdown drum. So I painted that, you know, this year sitting here in the apartment. No. Yeah, it's, it's lockdown. You know, artists on lockdown. We got lockdown art. The next book coming out. I mean, it's just amazing. Nice. So you know, um, a little bit what I do, Michael. I have speakeasies, like 1920 speakeasies, and and you know, I have the venues and stuff. And and one of them, the one in St. Charles, we have the Arcata Theater. The one room there, I have uh, one of the rooms I'm most proud of, the Charlie Chaplin room. Okay. Oh, yeah. And um, and I know that you have like you know really into this guy. Right. Oh yeah, it's a very, that's a lifelong uh, admiration of Chaplin. Um, I'm friends with the Chaplin family. I've done a few Chaplin paintings. Had wow. I known that, I would have sent one of those in. Um, wow. But uh, yeah, yeah, Chaplin has a very special place in my heart. No question about it. No, I got it. I you know, there's another lock. There, there's another lockdown painting. I don't know if you have, a, have access to it. It's uh, it's a Sicilian landscape that that I just finished a few weeks ago. Oh, let me see that. Oh man, there it is. Yeah. Yeah. That sure is. <clears throat> That's a town oh. called Agrigento. Agrigento, my God. Yeah. Agrigento. Agrigento. Did you do that <laughs> Did you did you go to that diner that Rob painted? Hey, do you, um, uh, uh, your inspiration, I mean, were you there? I mean, how do you get your inspiration for some of this stuff? Yeah, yeah, you're, you're, you're looking at my vantage point. I took a photo standing in that spot. Really? Yeah, yeah. Wow, just beautiful, I'm yeah. telling you. Yeah. Thank you, I, thank you. Good job, um, good job. I, I sent one other painting, and it's what I call pixelism. Well, no, that's not it. <laughs> that was amazing, how did you, how did you do that? that is, awesome. So this is, um, this is my, my pixelism, which is I do like a pixelated artwork, and that's a very close-up section of uh, Michelangelo's Sistine yeah. Chapel. It's uh, creation of Adam, Adam and creation, God's yeah. hands touching. Yeah. Yeah. So that's also a lockdown painting. I've, I'll tell you what, like everyone on this, on this call who tours for a living, I have not been home this much in 25 years. Oh yeah, yes. yeah. So yeah. consequently, oh, I've yeah, I've never been able to turn out as much painting. Yeah. Um, and I'm just stockpiling it for when I start doing shows next year. Yeah. 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 I, I can write what you just yeah. said. Are you very involved in 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 these gallery shows? Uh, I'm sorry. Was that a question for me? Yeah. yeah. Are you still yeah. doing, yeah. Are you doing galleries? Oh yeah, yeah. So um, for the past 10 years. I've worked with a company called Wentworth Gallery, and they represent my art, and they've got about 10 galleries across the country. And in fact, Paul Stanley is one of their painters. Um, and Paul was the one that introduced me to Wentworth. Um, they have a fair amount of, of musician painters in the Wentworth fold. They've got um, 
Mickey Hart. They've got Rick Allen from Def Leppard. Um, and uh, yeah, so obviously just like, you know, music, we can't do live art shows because you can't have a crowd. So I've just been home just stockpiling the work, painting in this corner right here. And uh, do you sell your paintings or are, they just, or are you just sell prints? Oh, no, no, no. I sell the paintings. Absolutely. That's this is awesome. a, it's a second career for me. It's, this has been something that um, has been a lifelong uh, um, scenario. I was, I was painting when I was four. I started drumming when I was nine. And I've just done both simultaneously my whole life. You know, Ed, you brought up a really good perspective about the the relationship between, um, you know, artists and uh, I mean, like painting artists and musicians. Mm -hmm. um, why don't you bring that back? Yeah, well, actually, growing up, when I was going to high school, I was kind of I was always into music. I was always into art. I was deciding whether I was going to be a starving musician or a starving artist. Um, <laughs> I kind of went I went into the art end, but I found myself coming around and, and working with a lot of musicians and stuff because I always love music. But as I was saying before, I find that most musicians are artists and vice versa. Most artists that I've run into are also musicians because it's a it's a similar sensibility. I mean, it's all composition and that, and it's mm -hmm. just another way of you know creating. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's, Ed, Ed, Ed was a master at colors. I mean, you look at look at the yeah. colors behind you. Uh, those are actually uh, Young Turks and Do You Think I'm Sexy lyrics for that, done up in the style that we have our art as a as a piece of artwork. And but the colors are things that, and the, the writing, like it looks like. I always said that Ed's artwork is like a, a kid's art. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, sort of like sort of like Vinny's. Yeah, I didn't color it yet. <laughs> he, he but, can't, he's got his crayons, I'm sure. Yeah, and that's what made it. E that's what made it easy for me to to work with it because I'm not a, an accomplished artist like like Rob or Michael, you know. But uh, well, like that's I said, where I can, my where yeah. my artwork was born. Um, yeah. I, I as so I said before kids. too, I worked for the American Museum of Natural History for um, 17 years, doing very realistic dinosaurs and fossil drawings. But I always loved the way very young children drew. You know, things are a little bit off skew and, and they draw with innocence. So I kind of originally I was going to do like a childlike drawing. I wanted to do a, a painting of the boogeyman and do it as a perspective from a child's point of view and say, you know, this is you know not just a child's drawing. That's what they actually look like. And I kind of just love that. And I was trying to teach myself after going to college, learning how to draw well, to draw incorrectly and draw like a four year old. I'll show and, you. you know, okay. I draw with innocence now. <laughs> and that's why yeah, I was so, able to work with Carmine very well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. exactly. I'm, I'm seriously, Vinny, we're going to do something with that picture. I want that picture. <laughs> oh, that. Hey, 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 Vin, don't laugh. He can do something with that picture. Oh, I know he could. He could do it. I'm sure he could. Ron, <laughs> don't be careful I mean, with your wish for, Ron. He doesn't need to do, do anything with it, though. It's a, it's a masterpiece. Yeah, it is. It's like thing. But then uh, I was going to say the first thing we did when, when Ed said, well, what do, you, what do you, you know how to do? I said, I know how to draw a drum. So we did this first thing called Drumhead. And it was just a, a floor tom tom with my image, like with this, I had round sunglasses on my mustache. Hey, let me see it. I, we've got that. I, I, think. I think you got that. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, that and, was the first one we did when you came to my studio. Yeah, yeah. I, remember, I, I then we, sat down at my computer. He did the sketch. Look at that same pen yeah. that I used, the same pad, and I scanned it in, <laughs> and we, you know, took some of his music, put it behind there. That's great. Yeah, yeah, and we actually, we, I, I, I was real pleased that we, I saw that in a window of an art shop in Manhattan, a lithograph of it, really? and we sold, we sold a couple of two or three of them, and I said, wow, that's yeah. pretty cool. But we, yeah. we never really, we never really pushed the art, but mm. we're, we're going to do some, like, uh, this weekend we're going to do an art, uh, a, a vir what do you call it, virtual, virtual. art show, a virtual mm -hmm. art show, that's going to go around and link to um, an art gallery in in Florida. What do you know? What's the name of that art gallery? Oh, Ed, do you know? Yet. I don't remember either. Yeah, it's two but, names. Oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> drum City. Board, board I think board it's right. board even board. this thing. This is this is Drum City, right? Yeah. Yeah, but that's Drum City. That's so that's like the second thing we did. I said. Well, that'd be cool. Well, then Ed gave me a book. He said, draw the book, draw your paintings and make them really small. 
Mm -hmm. Right, draw your artwork, and then I'll project them, and then I'll paint them, and then we'll make lithographs. So I drew that drum city. It's, it's a city made of drums, you know. I love it. And then that we, is a really we, great. And we gave it to Ed. We gave it to Ed, and he I put all the here. colors in it, and the colors. And then later we said, "Oh, we need some cars." So I, I drew some cars, <laughs> and then we superimposed the cars in there. <laughs> yeah, and that was kind of the catalyst for the rest of the show. Yeah. That we just then we, then to make how many pieces do you guys around the have? world? How many pieces do you guys share? You know that you've done together. Um, uh, look at that, guys. That's that's the like Drum City with a with a with a river, but the hi hat stand is the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I really love this. What's in the water? That's that's cool. Yeah, it's like a boat. That's a boat. It's a boat. It's a yeah, sometimes boat. Sometimes I have to call up Carmine and ask him, "What is this? What is this supposed to be?" Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Colors. Yeah, right, look at right, that. Right. The, the Leaning Tower, tower of Pisa. The, the drum, the drum version. Leaning Tower of a piece. A piece of a Pisa. I love it. No, it's really incredible, Carmen. I can't. I've known you so. Look at this guy. Are you kidding me? Yeah, it's coming no. in my studio. It looks like it looks like it looks like I painted that, but Ed really yeah, it did. Does. <laughs> no, that's amazing. Uh, I, I just think it's a great concept. That as, as long as I've known you, I mean. I, I didn't know. Look at I didn't know that you were doing this, Carm. How long have you guys been together doing this project? Oh, well, five years. Wow, wow. six more years. That. More than that. Yeah, well, we, we never I mean, we, we never we really pushed it for a while. Yeah. Yeah, we never really pushed it. You know. Well, the next the next Fudge show you do by us, we got to bring some prints of this stuff. Are you kidding me? Yeah, we'll have Ed send it to you. Well, I know. Hey, by the way, look at that. Oh, there you go. Look at that. That's fine. The That's book. It. The oh, that was the, his book tour. I did a promotional. Yeah. Confessional. Okay. I love it. It's the yeah. confessional. Hey, hey yeah, the um, confessional, my God. Hey, Ed, yeah. uh, I can't help but notice uh, uh, that uh, uh, crash behind you. What's the story behind that? Oh, well, now you just brought up the same picture. That's the uh, first time I got to meet uh, Anvil and go backstage. And I do this project called oh, yeah. uh, Random Acts of Art, where wherever I travel around the world, I give away a piece of art to people. Um. And I got to go backstage uh, through a mutual friend of ours, uh, Delilah, who's a rock photographer, mm -hmm. um, and get to meet um, Rob and the guys. And then I got a, over my shoulder, you see there's a crash symbol, which is Rob's that he signed. And it's it's a little bit destroyed and cracked by Rob. <laughs> great. So is that? <laughs> Good point, he, Rob. he plays a little hard. Good point, Rob. No, no, it's just, pay, you know, Carmine, it's pace the year. It doesn't last long. <laughs> It sounds great. It just doesn't last long. Yeah, yeah they yeah. don't last long. <laughs> oh, so that's the reason. Uh, you, you're not like a, you're not like Vinny, a, a banger, a slapper like Vinny. Hey, watch it, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy. You're an artist now, Vinny. Come on. I know. Have some reason. Hey, 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 Vinny, we gotta have Ed finish that piece of uh, artwork and <laughs> no. send it to Ron. Do so it. Ron can make Ron can make a T-shirt out of it. No, I'm okay. telling you, it. You know what, Vinny is like a guy. I don't know if you guys know, you artists know the name of Giotto. Giotto was an Italian artist that drew the perfect circle, just bam, uh, the official perfect circle. And Vinny, that's about as close to perfection as I seen. We just whip it up. You're, know, uh, you're the Giotto. I know. That was a, all in the emails <laughs> I've been getting about that too. That people were freaking out. <laughs> I tell you, man, it's uh, it's something. You got a new thing uh, happen, new new career. That's um, a good picture. Hey, yeah, that's what oh, I meant. That. I, I went to Mike's uh, art show in uh, New York City. Yeah, yeah, nice. Pretty cool. Yeah, I got to meet um, Michael the first time at uh, a function for Fine Art Magazine, and then that's um, right. Uh, Michael came in the door actually, and I didn't recognize Michael at first. I just said he looks like somebody, but I can't, you know when you see somebody at a place, you mm -hmm. don't you know. Yeah. Connected, and then Mike came over to me and, and was nice enough to say that he was a fan of my work and everything. And then we started looking at the the issue of the next magazine that was coming out that we both happened to be in. And Michael's showing me his article, and he's going through it, his see his paintings, and then I see a picture of him behind a drum set. I'm like, oh, you play drums? He's like, uh, yeah, I play for Leonard Skinner. Like, <laughs> Excuse me, up and down. <laughs> you know, Ed, man, we still got to do a show together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's definitely going to happen. Or Michael, everybody, like. Yeah, yeah. I'm ready. Yeah. I'm telling. Yeah. Well, I'm telling you. Yeah, so you guys can sell your stuff. I just want to show my stuff. Man. Okay. <laughs> well, would you? Well, I we'll, mean, we'll sell I'll... your stuff too. <laughs> so, there you yeah, go. I, I swear, like a whole tour. <laughs> Imagine doing an art tour and you go on a road for like a month. You know, every two days mm -hmm. you fucking put on a. It'd be great. Yeah. 
So, you know, all kidding aside, Rob, would you, if, if, an an, if Anvil was doing a show by, by like a place like mine, would you bring some artwork to, uh, to show as well and coincide with the show? Or you'd like well, to keep it separate? No, no, we would not, not normally. They sell prints and, and all the shit at the merch table, you know, but we don't, not, not the originals. Yeah. But would you do a show with the originals? Yeah. Yeah. Somebody would arrange it for fucking right now. Right. Arrange it. All I'm telling you. Yeah. I, 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 I'm a, a YYZ, man. It's 20, 12 minutes from my house, dude. Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm <laughs> That's funny. Oh, that, was the, that was the first art show that Carmen and I did together for Drum City <laughs> at my gallery in Manhattan. And right. I made up some thicks with mustaches on it so all the people could post the pictures and be Carmine. And that's me and my two sons, Eric and Jacob. It's funny, wow. Vinny does that too. Vinny does yeah. that all the time. <laughs> hey, you should have used drumsticks. Yeah. Yeah, see? The creativity is just doesn't oozing stop. out of here. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't I think stop. I wet my pants. Here. Actually, I have a drumstick here with a paintbrush on the end, which would be applicable for most of the guys here. <laughs> oh, that's today. cool. That's so cool. Have, I like uh, that. That's I'm, funny. I'm, I'm going to learn to go out on tour since these guys are home painting. <laughs> oh, right. They're going to put me out of business. So I'm going to have to go and take a band on the road now. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, you, you artists here. I mean, I obviously, paint, I paint like, for like, myself, man. So like, like, I'm going to get out of business. On. <laughs> I paint for myself, right? You know I mean? That's it. You know what? That's actually going to be the question, Rob. I mean, you know, obviously, I mean, Mike, you're in, you're in the business. But, you know, with regards to inspiration, I mean, besides um, just something that may hit you at any one particular time, but is there an actual source of inspiration you guys go for? Like, Rob, when you're on the road, are you looking for something to hit no, you? No, no, no. I just walk into everything. You just walk into it innocently. There's one album cover, um, well, actually two, but one re more recently that I painted. You know, Anvil. We have an album called Anvil is Anvil. And I painted that album cover. Oh that's really? One, yeah, that's one of my uh, paintings. It's a simple composition. It's just an anvil reflecting itself in a mirror. Anvil is anvil. It's genius. Genius. I mean, it's, again, deep, deep. There's a lot to be said about smoking uh, pot. I mean, it really is. I mean, yeah, you know, it's, it's the key that opens the door to the mind. You know, it's pretty true. It seems that way. How hey, about you, Michael? Where are you getting your inspiration from? You got, you know, on one side you're doing drums, the other side you're doing your Sicilian landscape. I mean, just does it come to you in any particular way? Uh, much like what Rob has experienced, um, uh, my eyes are always open, and um, you know, now with with having you know these great phones with cameras on them, um, my phone is filled with pictures of something that. That'd be a great painting. That'd be a great painting. Yeah. And I, I just, at any given time, I have a list of about 30 paintings um, that I intend to do. And I kind of move them around and I take a look at the list and decide what I'm most inspired. And then I jump on that one next. So uh, I'm about to start a beetle painting um, oh, yeah. this Love week. That. So really. Um, and the last thing I did was a Sicilian landscape. So it's kind of like anything goes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I noticed, I mean, between all you guys, I mean, I, excuse my ignorance with it. Look at it. Anvil, anvil. I love it. Anvil is anvil. Look at that with the mirror. Love it, man. Yeah. There, there it is. I love it. I painted and it. it. And it's somewhat of a, a theatrical mirror in, in, in also. You know, it's not even just a, you know. Mirror. A mirror. Yeah. I mean, it is. Got a, yeah, an I, actually, I, actually, you know, I actually went source the place here in Toronto. That uh, rent says. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right you know, rent says for mirrors, you know, uh, and furniture for like movie sets. See, and there I, you go. I sorted, I sorted through fucking dozens and dozens of different um, mirrors, and I took I different. See. Yeah, I took pictures of them, different ones, and I set a composition at that picture. I kind of set it up there with a few different mirrors, brought and brought it home, made some sketches, and then and made, then, then decided, you know, that one would suit. The simplicity of the whole thing right well that says a lot about it seriously it says a lot about your attention to detail with that it, it's got to hit you the and mirror you know, you're looking for ron, something yeah ron noticed the mirror ron right. noticed it, it well, i'm just it saying just the mirror right? it's, it is it's something it's you it can see that yeah. it was uh it was it was it was thought out it was well thought out it wasn't just mm -hmm. you know a handheld mirror or bathroom mirror or whatever 
No, you know, and it came back to rehearsal studio like half, you know, you're just sitting around, buzzed out, and you're just talking shit. And next thing you know, you say something. And, and that saying came out, oh, yeah, man, the fuck is that? You know, we get criticized. All you guys saw your records always sound the same. You never change, blah, blah. You know, we we hear the same shit like ACDC years, I guess, or, or Sabbath or whatever. I don't know. Or Motorhead. We're, we're Anvil. We, Anvil's Anvil. We fucking sound like us. And we're, we ain't going to fucking change the sound. You get, you know? Mm-hmm. But it's amazing how, how you yeah, know, they, and it just well, came out. Um, Angles, Angles, and we said, hey, man, that would be a great idea. Let's fucking make a, let's do it. And next thing you know, it's finished. But it's something how Metallica, you say that, but Metallica, Slayer, Anthrax, I mean, they really credit you guys with a, much of their inspiration. Yeah, in the early days, you know, you know we're one of, you're one of the early guys in America doing it that, metal that new generation metal thing so everybody yeah. hey but, it, but they listen Steve to metal. cactus Steve metal. They, listen to, they listen to cactus yeah right? absolutely man you know, so, it's, it's, it's very influential stuff so that's all cool at the point we were just stone kids having a great time um just doing our thing and it's like no we didn't know fucking nothing right like everybody you're just having fun you know really, now we're still having fun, but we know a lot of things, you know. <laughs> so tell me about your guys. You guys, tell me about your your classic artistic heroes. Not necessarily more contemporary, but more classic. I mean, I'm talking about from Da Vinci on. Oh, like musically? You mean? No, no, artistically. I mean, I'm sorry, from painting. Uh, like uh, my, my favorite artist, believe it or not, is Edward Hopper, John Salone. I like, I like Van Gogh. I like looking at his work. You know, yeah. I like a lot of some of the Dutch painters. That's about it, really. Not too many. Yeah. How about I you, love, Ed? I love Hopper. I'm, yeah. I'm pretty eclectic with my, I mean, I like the mass. I'm, I'm a big fan of Edward Hopper. That's why I was attracted to Rob's work and everything. Um, Van Gogh. I mean, it kind of depends on my mood, but I, I get inspired by a lot of different artists. But my new favorite artist now is uh, Vinny. <laughs> I know, I know. Right, well, I know. There you go, man. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> I love that. Look at it. You know, the only thing that's missing, Vin, I don't know if you would actually sign it with your actual autograph you normally, or you're going to have like a moniker. You're going to have some kind of a, you know, yeah, I'm working on that. thing. Yeah, yeah, you need I'm to kind of... on, uh, yeah, I'm working on that. So. Okay. Hey, Michael, how about your uh, classic? Sure. Uh, <laughs> car. Caravaggio, Caravaggio. Michelangelo, um, Van Gogh, Magritte, wow. M.C. Escher, Roy Lichtenstein. Mm. Wow. Now, okay. those are varying level. Uh, yeah, degrees. it covers a lot of ground. It really does. <laughs> I mean, my goodness. You really uh, have yeah. the, the – but I, I could see, at least on, on uh, the Sicilian seascape, how you could, you could combine two or three of the styles – or the inspirations, I guess I could say. Yeah, uh, um, I didn't send in um, a, a photo of this, but actually Ed saw these paintings at that show in New York. Um, I took Michelangelo's David and I, I put him through uh, 100 years of art history. So you have really? David in a Van Gogh look, David in a Picasso look, David in a Lichtenstein look, David in a Warhol look. Yeah, and, um, they're, they're, they're four foot by four foot paintings, and wow. they're, um, they're, that was a fun project. Uh, wow. Yeah. wow, it's really deep. I mean, it, it seems like you're pumping them out. Are you? You look at oh, look at this stuff. Oh, that, uh, well, oh, this one, yeah, yeah. Keep uh, keep scrolling down. There they are. There's the four. Yeah, ones. look at there's Warhol. Yeah. 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 Wow. Oh, look at that. So those uh, those paintings took um, about almost three years to do because they're wow. so damn big. I mean, the, the Van Gogh inspired one mm-hmm. alone took seven months to do. Wow. Cause with each one, I had to kind of go through the learning curve of trying to get into their head and try and capture the spirit of the look. Mm-hmm. Those were a lot of fun to do. A little Picasso-esque as well. On that. No, oh, no, no, absolutely. That's, um, mm-hmm. That that's a, a, a Picasso painting modeled after a Picasso painting of Dora Mar, which was his girlfriend. Sure. And I, I literally just took the Picasso painting, took the female out of it, and plopped David into it, and then painted it as if how would Picasso have painted David's face? And then I just did that same that's it. That's approach it. across the board. 
Absolutely. I love it. I yeah. love the, just love it. I mean, it's, Thank a, you. it's a yeah. great perspective. Beautiful. Absolutely. Thank you. Yeah. Are you, um, so uh, can I, I mean, can I ask about this beetle painting? Like yeah, it's going to, it's, it? it's going to be a, uh, um, fab four era, you know, collarless suit. Mm -hmm. Um, the canvas is right off camera cause I just, um, sanded it. I, I stretch my own canvases and yeah. do all the primer and, and sanding. Mm -hmm. Um, so, uh, uh it's cool. about 50 inches wide, 26 inches tall. And um, it's going to be a very vivid pop art, um, colorful approach. Have you had any in, in, uh, involvement at MoMA of any de degree? Well, I mean, I'm a member. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. I don't have anything on the wall there, though. <laughs> well, that, that I can, but I can see it. I mean, really, it, it just, well, you know. It makes Can you make? If, I'd be really happy if you'd make a phone call for me. You know what? <laughs> All kidding aside, I think I can. I can make a phone call. So okay, anyway, we'll talk you. about that afterwards because I can. Right, I good, can good. see it, especially thank because you. of the theming and 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 Ed. You know, your stuff uh, is really. I mean, again, we talked about your your application of color, um, mm -hmm. but I do want and and we did m mention the uh, the type style, the font style. Mm -hmm. um, but that seems, is that something proprietary kind of? It looks just so much consistency there. Well, that's just my handwriting, how I just write. So I just write them out, the lyrics myself, and just use that. But I just want to say, I do have something at the MoMA. Do you? What do you got? They had they had one of my children's books in the gift shop. <laughs> nice. Okay. You know, I'm, that a, I'm in the MoMA. I'm that in the counts. gift shop, but I'm in the MoMA. That does. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Congratulations, you made oh, it, Michael, I'll see if I can talk to someone. Hey, hey, thank you, Ed. Good. Do you know what the MoMA is? What? I don't have a clue what it is. Oh, sorry. Is the Museum of Modern Art. It, right in New oh, York. Oh, that's what oh, no. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know the sorry. initials. I'm sorry. Okay. It's, uh, it's, you go down the street and they got it like on these banners. It's all over the place over there. So sorry oh, about yeah. that. The Met right. is the Metropolitan. The MoMA is the Museum yeah. of Modern Art. Yeah. yeah. The frick so, is the frick. Um, guys, Times have, Square uh, is that little piece of property over at 47. Yeah, you gotta go. <laughs> like Rob has yeah. to. I'm gonna out. leave the party. I'm honored okay. to have been invited for this. This is awesome. Hey, hey, hi, hi, guys. Hey, 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 thanks, for, thanks for asking me. It's cool, awesome. dude. Say hi to the guys, everybody. all right? Say hi to the guys. Thanks, Rob. Thanks, Rob. Thanks, Rob. Thanks, we will see you in St. Charles, my man. We can't wait to handle everything. Thank you. You got it, buddy. We'll talk Rob about. Reiner from Anvil. Thank you, buddy. So, Mike, the good news is I can make a phone call. Awesome. Not so good news is I was going to call Ed. So, um... <laughs> hey, you know what? I'll happily uh, give something to their gift shop if they want it. Yeah, you know what? Happily. But I do have actually have a. a, a I, 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 all kidding aside, maybe able to do something. So, anyway, we'll do that <laughs> afterwards. I really want to see your your chaplain work, though. I really want to do I'll, again. Well, you know, if, if uh, um, your guy was just on the website, the chaplain painting is right on there. If he keeps scrolling down. Yeah, I'd love to if see. You, it. If you really want to see it. Too. No, I really, really do because I've got. Uh, I've, oh yeah, look at that. There it is. Oh, there it is. Yeah. There it is. Scroll look down. at that. Right, right next, next to, to the another Ronnie icon. Van. Right next yeah. to the Ronnie Van Zandt. You no, know, look at that, man. So, like I said, in my chaplain room, That's I have cool. some original artwork of, of you know renditions of Chaplin. I got to add this to it. Um, nice, incredible. Well, thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. What is what is that one right here? I'm, I have my freaking glasses. What is the the one uh, next? Those next two. Below the chaplain is um, the carousel in Central Park. Mm -hmm. And I just oh. covered it in snow and took the roof off so you can see the sky. And then next to this carousel, oh, there you go. There's a close up shot. Then next to the carousel. Yeah, that one. That, that is a, a New York City period piece. Um, yeah. And the, the guys in the foreground are my three heroes. So chaplain is the one on the far end with the big laugh yep on the other end is houdini and yep. in the middle is my dad oh uh, you know oh. what that's great <laughs> i yeah. love that thank you i love that um i have a, a thing with uh with uh, uh with disney with george m cohan uh thomas edison and my dad <laughs> those are my heroes so I'm nice a, I, I love that we're too. on the same wavelength Yes, that would look yeah. like a C. The reason why I look, I'm a huge Boardwalk Empire fan. And oh, that yeah, looks yeah. like a C. 
from well, I, I, I work from old Manhattan photos and um, the main street that you're seeing in that painting is Wall Street from the late 1800s. And the oh. only thing that's still standing from that photograph is Trinity Church, wow. um, which which oh, is right. that you can you're see right the church there, yeah. in the back there. Um, mm -hmm. That's the only thing still standing. But that was how Wall Street looked in the late 1800s. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So yeah, I just worked from true. a bunch of different um, photos. Again, the Chaplin family um, let me use one of their um, estate photos of Charlie. And um, it, it's been really cool having the the support from the Chaplin family. They've they've um, you know they've helped promote my work. Like the the Chaplin painting with the blue eyes um, mm -hmm. is on the the family's official website, and you can buy it through the family's um, shopping. Center. Really? Yeah. Was that a Una situation at some one point? Mm, Una Una had already passed away, but oh. all of her children. Um, now run the family estate mm -hmm. and um it's it was through that scenario that this happened now there is a cool story since you have it up here yes um the the, the eyes on this painting are vivid photorealism and they're blue uh -huh. and, and um i i did that because not a lot of people know the chaplain had blue eyes and one of chaplain's daughters told me what um what color blue to use for the eyes so it's very true to life that's uh, just incredible i mean really i mean a uh, huge fan too i don't want to uh, elaborate that any more on it but i'm a huge fan on it just love it so congratulations on that and what do you got to, what do you got coming up ed well i have the show with carmine coming up uh this weekend right so is it just the virtual I mean, just show with you guys just your two yeah it's yeah, the we're... drum city stuff that we've done um we're doing a we're going to be doing a we were planning on doing a, a show in the gallery, but since, you know, what's going on, I haven't done any gallery shows since last March. I mean, yeah. I came back from Germany, was my last show, and everything's been shut down since. And we were planning yeah. on doing, you know, a show in the gallery, but since we can't right now, we decided to do a virtual show to show some of the stuff we're doing right now. And then yeah, we're going to film it tomorrow. Film it tomorrow, and you can, you can see the show on that uh, website that's uh, mm -hmm. below us. And yeah, we got, really you know, because we have a lot of stuff like, uh, you know, and like you talk about inspiration when, when Ed gave me a little pad, told me to draw things. So I started thinking about what things would be cool, you know, as, as, as drum art, you know? Mm -hmm. So I did like Stonehenge, you know, made of, the, the Stonehenge is made of the drums, like that Leaning Tower of Pisa, you know, and then the, the moon landing. You know, we did the moon landing, which was like, yeah. you know, uh, the the, um, the the pod was made of a drum, yeah, and then the that symbol. One I have here. Oh yeah, there's the moon landing. <laughs> Pretty funny. <laughs> you know, but it looks Look like kitty art. But the, the show it again. Show it again. You got your big screen on there. Now. Here you go. There you go. You know, so yeah. it's it's really funny. You know, it, and you know, and it's it's kitty art, but you know, it really when Ed puts the colors on it, it makes it really really cool. You know. Yeah, colors are well, unreal. No, it really, it really, really is. And you know what? I, I think, you know, Carmine, I got to congratulate you for bringing this concept to our show. You know, we've been doing this now for, I think it's our 31st, 32nd week. Right, right. And, um, and we've had, you know, as you said, we had Nugent down. We had so many just great musicians. And, uh, and it's been really, really cool, obviously. Uh, but, yeah. uh, but Carmine thought to bring this concept. And I got to tell you, Carmine, at first I'm thinking, well, you know, I'm, you could tell. I mean, I'm a fan of all this stuff too. But yeah, you know, how yeah. is this going to transcend into a show like our like the the, the, the basis that we've created over these yeah. 31 weeks? And I gotta say, this has been wonderful. I mean, I'm I'm giddy yeah. as giddy as I am with the with the musician part of it, the artwork. Doug, I'm I'm really excited about it. So well, we can do we can do a volume two with some of the other guys that paint. And mm -hmm. another idea was like to do like uh, the rockers and the bios, you know, the autobiographies. Yeah. No, this I just so I many, so many have that. Another one with, with yeah. Eddie and Mike. I just like these guys. That's, yeah. that's, that's, I like these guys. Yeah. Anyway, that's Ed, funny. Ed, congratulations. Best of luck Thanks. with you and my my big brother Carmine on the show. Yeah, I'm going to be watching it myself. And uh, Michele, uh, mm -hmm. it's so nice to meet you uh, like this. Yeah. And uh, I, I want, grazie mille. Uh, we'll grazie, stay in touch. Okay. And Vinny, right, don't forget to scan that and send it to Ed. 
Yeah. <laughs> yes. I'm serious. I'm serious. Send, I'm me serious. E- send me his email address. Okay. I don't have it. But I you know it. what? I'm I don't think I have it. I'm uh, I'm expecting a Christmas present in the mail, Mr. Apice, and I want that autographed. <laughs> to me, okay. I'm that's gonna send you an iron so you can iron on all these and, things. On you notice he said that. Hey, you why notice, don't you hang you notice them all he said apathy. <laughs> you notice he said apathy. Yeah, he better. I know. <laughs> hey, you guys have a happy holiday season. Stay safe. Stay uh, stay healthy, everybody. And please. we'll be back. We're taking the break. We'll be back yeah. January seventh with uh, we got the I think we got the Nelson guys, the Nelson, Nelson twins, and uh, two guys from Chesler as well. It's gonna be yeah. a great one. Have a great holiday, everybody. Yeah, Artists on lockdown, hanging and banging every Thursday. Heidi, Heidi, where you been? Hiding. Heidi, 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 Heidi ho. Heidi. Hey, man, have a good holiday season, everybody. You too, Mike. Right. And Thanks, guys. AC. Merry Bye-bye. Christmas, everybody. Everybody, make sure you like us, you share us. Paul. Share every week. <laughs> now Vinny wakes up. What the heck? Who loves <laughs> them? What the hey, heck? Hey, Vinny, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call you. i got to tell you about the computer. Oh, no. No, Bye, it's okay. Guys. Happy good. holidays, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Ciao, ciao, Michele. Ciao. Ciao, ciao.